Have you ever thought about starting your own dropshipping business? Imagine a business model where you don't need to worry about inventory or shipping. You don't need a warehouse. Heck, you don't even need to leave your home. This is the world of dropshipping. It's a retail method where a store doesn't keep the products it sells in stock. Instead, when you sell a product, you purchase it from a third party and have it shipped directly to the customer. The beauty of dropshipping lies in its simplicity and low initial costs. You can start your business with a minimal budget, and the ability to sell a wide range of products means you're not limited by what you can physically store. That's why dropshipping has become a popular choice for budding entrepreneurs dreaming of their own online empire. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But how does one start a dropshipping business? You might be wondering, why should I choose dropshipping over other online business models? Well, let's dive right into the benefits that make dropshipping an attractive option. One of the biggest perks of dropshipping is the low startup costs. Traditional businesses often require a hefty initial investment, but dropshipping is different. You don't need to buy products in bulk, rent a storage space, or invest in a ton of packaging materials. Instead, you're essentially the middleman between the customer and the supplier. You only purchase a product when a customer places an order, which significantly reduces your financial risk. Now let's talk about the inventory, or rather, the lack thereof. With dropshipping, you don't need to worry about stocking or managing physical inventory. Your supplier handles all of that. This means no headaches over stock levels, no sleepless nights over unsold products gathering dust, and no wrestling with packaging and shipping. You can say goodbye to the logistical nightmares that come with traditional retail models. And how about location? Are you a beach lover, or perhaps a mountain dweller? With dropshipping, you can operate your business from anywhere. As long as you have a reliable internet connection, you're good to go. You're not tied down to a brick and mortar location. You can run your dropshipping business while sipping a pina colada on a beach in Bali or enjoying a hot cocoa in a cozy cabin in the Alps. The world is your office. Lastly, dropshipping offers you the flexibility to experiment with a wide range of products. You're not stuck with a warehouse full of one type of product. You can easily switch up your offerings based on trends, seasons, or your customers' needs. This flexibility allows you to adapt and grow your business in ways that traditional retail models can't match. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there are a few pitfalls to be aware of. While dropshipping has many advantages, it's important to understand the challenges you might face. So stay tuned as we delve into the disadvantages and traps of dropshipping in the next segment. Like any business model, dropshipping does have its fair share of challenges. Let's pull back the curtain on some of these potential downsides, beginning with shipping complexities. When you're dropshipping, you're essentially the middleman between the supplier and the customer. This can become a logistical puzzle when dealing with multiple suppliers, each with different shipping costs and delivery times. The result? A potential customer service nightmare if not managed correctly. Next, let's talk about supplier errors. Imagine this scenario. Your customer receives a defective item or worse, the wrong product altogether. Who's to blame? The supplier, of course. But who does the customer blame? Unfortunately, it's you. As the face of the business, you're left to manage these mishaps, often at your own expense. Now, on to the topic of profit margins. Dropshipping typically involves lower profit margins compared to traditional retail models. Why? Because you're not purchasing in bulk or manufacturing your own products. The trade-off for the convenience of not having to manage inventory is the slice of profit you hand over to your supplier. And finally, we must address the elephant in the room, high competition. The ease of setting up a dropshipping business means the market is saturated with competitors. With plenty of others selling the same or similar products, standing out from the crowd can be a Herculean task. It requires a keen understanding of your target audience, a unique selling proposition, and a whole lot of marketing savvy. But don't let these challenges dissuade you. Rather, view them as hurdles to overcome on your path to entrepreneurial success. With the right planning, problem solving and perseverance, you can navigate these pitfalls and build a thriving dropshipping business. Now that we have a balanced view, let's dive into how to actually start a dropshipping business. Starting a dropshipping business may seem daunting, but when broken down into steps, it becomes much more manageable. Let's dive right into it. First up, market research. This is the foundation to any successful business. You need to find a product or niche that's in demand, but not overly saturated. You could use tools like Google Trends or social media platforms to see what's hot and what's not. Remember, it's important to choose something you're passionate about. After all, you'll be spending a lot of time working with these products. 
Next, find a reliable supplier. This is crucial because you want to ensure your customers receive quality products in a timely manner. Websites like Alibaba or SaleWho can connect you with suppliers from all around the world. Don't be afraid to ask them questions like their production capabilities, quality control processes, and shipping times. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Once you've got your product and supplier, it's time to set up your online store. You could use platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce, which are user-friendly and offer plenty of customization options. Make sure your website is attractive, easy to navigate, and optimized for search engines. Don't skimp on your product descriptions either. They should be detailed and persuasive, convincing potential customers why they need your product in their lives. Now let's talk about the legal side of things. It's essential to set up the legal structure of your business. This may involve registering your business, obtaining necessary permits and licenses, and understanding your tax obligations. It might be worth consulting with a lawyer or accountant to help you navigate through this process. All right, you're almost there. The next step is to implement a customer service strategy. This includes setting up a system for handling inquiries, returns, and complaints. Remember, exceptional customer service can set you apart from your competitors. It can turn one-time buyers into loyal customers. Finally, it's time to market your products. There's no point in having a fantastic product if nobody knows about it, right? You could use social media, email marketing, or even influencer collaborations to reach your target audience. Be creative and think outside the box and don't forget about SEO. It's a powerful tool that can help your website rank higher in search engine results. And voila, you're now a proud owner of a dropshipping business. Remember, starting a business requires patience and hard work. There will be challenges along the way, but don't let them discourage you. Keep learning, keep improving, and most importantly, keep going. And there you have it. A simple guide to starting your own dropshipping business. So, is dropshipping the right business model for you? It's a question only you can answer, but we've provided the tools to make an informed decision. Let's quickly recap. The beauty of dropshipping lies in its simplicity. No need for inventory, low startup costs, and the freedom to operate from anywhere. But remember, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. The potential for supplier issues, intense competition, and slim profit margins are real challenges you may face. We also walked you through the essential steps to kickstart your dropshipping journey. From finding a profitable niche, selecting reliable suppliers, to setting up an enticing online store, we've got you covered. It's a journey that requires patience, persistence, and a good dose of resilience. But with the right mindset and strategies, you could be on your way to building a successful online business. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips on making money online.